What is happening today, guys? Everybody's doing well. Everybody's have a great day. Positive vibes only. In today's video, we're going to be talking about X Defiant and Call of Duty. Which one's better? Is X Defiant the Call of Duty killer? So let's jump right into this, man. And I'm going to base these opinions based off of, you know, what I think. And being a Call of Duty player for basically all my life, bro. My gaming life, right? Personally, I feel like Call of Duty is going nowhere. I don't think Call of Duty is going to be overrun by any game. Because it's Call of Duty, right? I mean, just... The name, Call of Duty, right? Can they improve? Yes, they can improve in so many different ways. I feel like throughout the years, Call of Duty has done a good job staying, you know, current. You know, obviously a lot of the trends and all that stuff, I get it, like collaborations, etc., etc. Many players would agree that they have to stick to their core, stay original. But then there's a lot of players that enjoy, you know, the trending collaborations and all that stuff. And I feel like this is where the game X Defiant comes into play. Now, this is my opinion. This does not apply to everybody, but let me know what you guys think, man. Seriously, comment down below and I really want to see what you guys think. X Defiant for me is a reminder of what Call of Duty once was. If we go back decades, right? Like our childhood the og call of duty modern warfare 1 modern warfare 2 black ops 1 black ops 2 and honestly then for me came 2019's modern warfare the reboot so yes everything has its ups and downs call of duty for example has its ups and downs but games have to understand that they should stick to their core and that's where x defiant is absolutely killing it right now the game is so simple right it's so simple and it's so fun all the original weapons five basic attachments and then a lot of other little things right like how smooth the game runs the game is really really smooth it's a free-to-play game it has the battle pass so obviously again it's doing some things that are that are trending right like the battle pass and all that stuff and it's sticking to its core right like they merged all their games into one basically another huge thing for x defiant is its lack of skilled based matchmaking what this basically means is it's gonna just put you in a game as quick as possible it's gonna match pings and it's just gonna throw you into the lobby personally it should stay that way unless you want to play ranked so it's these simple things that are reminding players what call of duty once was they have a chance to really make something good here and my final point i know there's gonna be a lot of people that are going to disagree would x defiant in the future in the coming future need a battle royale battle royale has been around for such a long time it's been so popular that i personally think again with this whole concept what with with what x defiant with what ubisoft has made merging in all their game characters right it would make sense to have a br it's way too early to even think about it but i just figured i'd throw it out there right and plus having a br game would just attract a lot more players that's just my personal thought though i mean i look at you know the previous games that came halo for example halo had such great potential but i mean obviously they're sticking to their core which is fine but again that more that bigger player base was missed because they didn't have a br i believe this game has great potential i'm enjoying this game a lot and it's just something that we as gamers can add to the list there's a lot of players that argue like they don't want to play apex they don't want to play call of duty etc etc i mean why not just enjoy them all right but yeah once again thank you all so much for the continued support and love man it truly means the world to me i love y'all take care and inshallah we'll stay in touch Lops.